What's good, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Fun with Dumb. I just got back from New York City, and uh, last night while I was getting ready to sleep, um, I got a text message from this person, mm. and uh, it was Bobby Lee, and he said, I want to go on your pod again. Wow. wow. And I was like, whoa, of course, Bobby. <laughs> so Let's do it. <laughs> he calls me immediately. I say, I says, we schedule it in, but he doesn't sound happy mm -hmm. when he's talking to me. Nope. Feels almost like a trap right. or something. Like he has something to get off his chest. Yeah, that's right. And now uh, oh Bobby's God. here. That's right. Live from Koreatown, Los area. Angeles. Live from LA. So a couple things. Okay. Um, <laughs> I've been following you on Instagram and the socials, and you know, I feel like you're biting my style. <laughs> mm. And I feel like you know the way this is. The de decorations here right. is very Tiger Belt, right? Would okay. you agree? Very, just let me finish, okay, guys. I'm will, the guest, okay? I will. You go first. Several things, okay? Number one, I think you're stealing my style. Okay. Um, The whole motif you have here at the fucking, what's this called? Dumb Fun play? Dumb, dumb. Dumb. dumb play. <laughs> dumb play. <laughs> okay, so you're at dumb play, right? Every, everything's kind of Tiger Belly colors, mm. right? It's close. No, very close. Yeah. Number two, um, you're doing stand up now a lot because I've been following it. Okay. It's a bit of my thing. Yeah, I it's know. my turf. I you know. know what I mean? I agree. And um, number three, style-wise too, your energy, or just just everything. every your energy, your style. Mm. Oh it's my, very Bobby Lee. and just, every everything about it. It feels you know? Bobby Lee esque. Yeah, and um, number four, um, I don't have a fourth, but um, okay, can I address that now? Yeah. Okay. First of all, the the decor. I'm into art. Just like you are, and the colors. I love bright colors. Okay, how many colors are there? In the, in, 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 if you go, if you go to the, let me just think. Should we do? If you, no, if you go, let me. Just, if you, you go side by side. No, no, no. If you go to a fucking crayon store, right? right. Do they have one of those? Yeah, yeah. Let's, let's, let's suppose it's a crayon store. Yeah. Well, I, back in the day when I was a kid, yeah. right? We had, you get the big one, you know what I mean, with all the colors, mm, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember them being like forty-six colors, right? Yeah, yeah. But that's not even the gambit of all colors, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, so you chose colors <laughs> that are exactly like Tiger Belly colors. They're pretty close. They they were close, but we were at the paint store when we both picked these colors. Mm -hmm. And oh, so wait, are you blaming him now? He, and you recall. kind of you kind of took the lead on the colors. Wow. Bro. He kind of took Dude, the lead on I the colors. I remember reminding you saying, "Hey guy, this is kind of like it's a little Tiger Belly-ish." Remember? I was a little <laughs> Did he, I, did you say that? Yeah, I think he, I I think he did. That. I think oh, he did. What do you are mean? Are you offended? No, I'm not offended. I'm just grossed out. A little grossed <laughs> out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, you know, I'm grossed okay, out. It's weird. It's weird. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Because I remember when I was a kid, I I do this photo of a a man, right? Wearing sunglasses and he's kind of walk, a white guy walking down the street like this, yeah. right? And it, my, I had a friend named David Siebert, and I looked over and he drew the same exact thing, Ew. right? And then I couldn't be friends with David Siebert because he was a thief, it's a thief. Uh. right? So I feel a David Siebert thing happening. Okay, mm, okay, right? okay. But can I? I'll give you some compliments too. Aww. May I? Yes, please. Okay. You're definitely cuter. <laughs> All right, you are. You're just genetically cuter, <sighs> right? Mm. You're more of a listen. You're more of a sex symbol, and maybe my um, yeah, one hundred percent. If you and I w didn't do what we did, and we just and you just lined us up, like let's say we were at a you and I were lady boys or just tie tie brothel bo boys, yeah, right. And let's say women came in to pick guys, right? I would definitely be cheaper. I'd have a better chance to get. I, I would agree. Yeah, but that's rude the way you said it. But <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. we really confident. But yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, wait, I want to say one thing about style biting, because I remember I was at your podcast, Tiger Belly. Uh -huh. I was wearing this shirt thing. The next day, you bought the shirt thing no. at Whoa. the shop. Wow! Never asked. Kalila said, no, Kalila said that, said you bought the she same. She lies. She said you bought the same but shirt. She lies. At the, <laughs> she fucking lies. No, the brain dead blue shirt. It was a brain dead puffy shirt. Right, right. Why would I wear a brain dead? You you I don't it. own I don't own any. She told me you bought it the yeah, next yeah. day because you you complimented. Where'd, where'd you get that though? This is my I want one. Where'd you buy? I got you. I'll get you. You I'll give me you. a medium. Yeah, but now we're gonna have the same <laughs> thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. On each other's podcast. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna keep having the same. Now, why thing. did you guys break up? Whoa. Whoa. We've yeah. never yeah. even. <laughs> we've, ne <laughs> we've never. Bobby Lee is live. Why do you think? 
think that yeah, yeah. we've never addressed this on the pod, by the way. You haven't? No, no we've never. We didn't, we didn't you guys know. are still together. Like, what? 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 You don't know what you're? I'm talking about the young well, the, the no. problem with live. Oh. The no, problem with doing the live okay. show. Okay. Right. Okay. The doing, problem with doing the live show is I might say anything. You're right. 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 And so you did. this is your fault. And you did. All right. So everyone did. thinks we were dating. Oh. We don't have to talk about this right mm. now. You don't want to talk about it. I've never heard vocal tone get to this point. I'm angry. I think she got. I'm not angry, but when I talk with the dudes, I almost have to talk out louder for y'all to hear me. Okay. Oh, what's his character? What yeah. 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 is this right? character? You know I'm just picking up. She's acting like Halila. Mm. Does she do yeah, that? Or what? Is, you know, you guys stole that. You guys stole that. To, to con- that kind of. That kind of me too. What do you mean she does? She <laughs> yeah, does the voices, or what? Yeah, she's yeah, uncomfortable. Yeah. Wow. Oh. We did not study you guys. <laughs> we did not study you. So, um, why did you? So, you guys, let me just ask. Can I just ask something? <laughs> sure, sure. All right. It and depends. You know, she doesn't. She feels uncomfortable. Do you, feel, do you feel uncomfortable? What is happening? Do you feel uncomfortable? I'm sweating my armpits uh, right now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. Let, let me go. Let, I'll go vague do into it. Do you care, yeah, I'll go Bobby? Vague, I'll go vague into it. Can I go vague? Let's go vague. Yeah, go. What's vague? Vague, like vague. I'm going vague. Oh, okay. I'm going to go vague into okay. it, okay? Okay. So, um, let's suppose in a, um, in a different world, you guys were dating. Okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so now we're talking about different dimensions. Yeah, okay. Multiverse. And a multiverse, like okay. that Marvel does. Right. Right? What we're if? in the Marvel. What if? Yeah. Okay. So um, what if you guys were dating? All right. Did you date before you did the podcast in this al- yes. alternative world? Yes. And so in, during when you were dating in this alternative world, right, did she turn to you and go, let's do, can I be on your podcast? Or how does that work? In this script we're writing, this new Marvel movie. Let's talk well, about I it. want. You wow. see, I didn't really have co-hosts on my podcast, but mm. I wanted to diversify the perspective. Mm. So, or yes. you saw, just FYI, you saw probably saw other people's podcasts and went. So that, is he Gilbert? Did, is he did Gilbert? Your, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 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 ladies and gentlemen, did yeah. your girl ask to be on your pod? It was her pod. Oh. She said, "Oh, Tiger Belly was her pod." Years ago, we were living in Beachwood. Do you ever go to that place? Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. So, and she um, goes, I want to start a podcast. We should do one. I go, fuck no. Mm. It's never going to work. We're not going to make any money. I have too much to do. So she went to um, Guitar Center mm-hmm. back then and bought a bunch of equipment. And she set it up. And she did probably four episodes on her own. Oh, wow. So one day I was watching television. And the, the podcast room was directly behind you know, in the off of the living room, so I could see. I, I, if I turned around from the couch, I could see her in there. Yeah. And one day she was sitting there. She had the mic, you know, and the earphones, and she wasn't talking, and she was kind of looking on the ground, and she was just like bombed mm. that she couldn't didn't know what to say. Mm. And I felt I was like, oh, fuck, I'll just fucking do it, fuck it. So I walked in. Okay, I'll do it. Yeah. And that's how it started. You wanted to kind of be there for her yeah but i would have to say it was more her thing than mine in the beginning right so in this multiverse let's go back to you so you took her pod i know i know what you're trying to do <laughs> you <laughs> took her pod i need her on this actually okay, okay. Right now. all right she she may be a guest here all right but i don't like your tone and well, I, I didn't like your, <laughs> i didn't like, I don't like yours, listen, bobby young, young lady wait right. if you want let's, yeah. <laughs> let's see the multiverse where <laughs> How does this work? Okay. <laughs> this is it right now. Okay, dude. so How does that look right I don't know. Can scary. somebody help me with this? All right, all right. Why is this happening? No, yeah. it's because producer. God, girls got to do everything for you, oh, okay. huh? Okay. You know Here, put it next to the mouth. All right. So what I'm going to ask you though is, I don't like your attitude, but I don't know you, so I can't. And I, but I like you, but I like you, and I think you're great. Okay, that sounds like bullshit. <laughs> and I think wow. that I think that um, you have a bright future ahead of you. This I, is our young and opa. Yeah, I'm your older brother. Oh, right. Oh, and now. I, yeah, and I think that you're my little don don sang, mm. right? And I think that we should start over. All right, let's start again. Yeah, so let's, my let's... name is Bobby. I like your brother better. Wow. <laughs> what the okay. fuck? Hold on. We, oh, 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 honestly. Why the fuck did that even know he has a little issue with Why that? Why would you even say that right now? Yo, come on. That was a low blow, Honestly, that was low. 
That was, <laughs> that was the lowest that you can go. All right. Was that the lowest? Really? No, there is. There's the more. Lowest? There's a couple more levels. But I could go somewhere, but I'm not gonna. Okay. okay. Mm. All right. <laughs> I can. All right. But I'm not gonna. He was apologizing. <laughs> I was apologizing. Yeah. You attacked me, but it's fine. All right. Yeah. All right. Let's get back on course. Okay. 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 So, um, in this multiverse, okay. <laughs> yeah. So you had your podcast in this movie, right? And you decided, you know what? I think Steph would be a great co-host. You asked her. She said yes. Right? You guys started doing it. And then in the script, right, something went wrong. And yeah. I want to know what went wrong. Mm. That's all. I do too, you know? I, you know, I will say. <laughs> I'm actually, wait, I'm coming with the hard ending questions. No, right I'm curious too. What it's just a regular. It's it's what happens. You know, you're in your 30s. Breakups happen, and when your breakups in 30s is different. Mm, how, yeah. You know how you've had a couple of breakups in your 30s. Many, 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 many. A lot more in your 30s than other age ranges. Yeah, because I I met Kalila when I was 42. Right. So um yeah, all of my relationships. We're in my 30s. Really? Yeah, late 20s or early 30s, yeah. Yeah, so, I mean, 30s was like, yeah, so I went through that, and that was like my most grown-up kind of thing, and, you know, I'm buying a place, and things are happening. A lot of changes are happening around <laughs> me. Mm. Yeah, uh -huh. Uh -huh. and she was my real estate agent as well. Yeah. Right? I said a whole lot of nothing right now. To be honest. <laughs> yeah, that was a, I know. feel like this is what happened. Talk what? to me. All right. What are your assumptions <laughs> of what Can happened? you write your story, please? Yeah, yeah. Can I get a water, please? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, hold on, hold Thank on. you. Because uh, big homies here. I got a little a little gift bag for you. Huh? See, and this is the respect. And what is, is You got him a gift yeah, yeah. bag? Oh this is the respect. You didn't even yeah, tell yeah, me yeah, you got him a gift yeah. bag. This is the respect. This is respect. The he Red Bull, I love Fiji Red Bull. combination. He knows, I love, he knows I love Fiji. Right. Yeah. Yeah. This is, you What's know, your big boy. Your big, big Bobby. You did not even tell. He you got know, these just, fucking nerds. He knows I like that. I know about your foot fungus situation, so, so you know. That's a little cuttlefish for your modern warfare days. <laughs> wow. You know what I mean? A little that's cuttlefish. Amazing. This is great, dude. It's Wait, just, you didn't you know, tell me you got him a gift. That's not the thing. I just, you, you know? didn't tell me you got. You, hey. didn't, you can't attach our name onto the gift bag. <laughs> no, I'm just saying, that's hey. Bobby Hum. Hey. <laughs> Bobby Hum. What is this? Yeah, yeah, you know, like you know, he's a snake. On, he's a snake and I love it. He is a snake. No, I'm not a snake. What is this? I got you something. I got you a little caviar. I got caviar. you something too because I respect you. What did you get? What is it? Okay, so this is a mask that you wore coming in here. <laughs> so that's rude and I don't want COVID. So here's that. Wow. Right. Oh and I don't like skinny pops. So thank you. Come on, that wasn't dude. from your heart. Now let's go back to the multiverse. All okay. Right? This is what I think that happened. What happened? Okay. Give it to me. I think that she w wanted you to change. <laughs> okay. okay. Just, just hear me out. She had some problemos, right, right? With some of your behaviors and maybe your distance. Maybe you're not, you, you have intimate issues or, what, or, mm. or whatnot. Just hear me out, mm. right? And you pulled away, right? She had to do what she needed to do, right? To survive. And I think it's on you. You're ninety nine percent right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, I think That's it's on not you. True. A yeah. lot of that is correct. I think I it is. Say, right? I think it's it is. That's you correct. Didn't pull away. No, I didn't pull. I'm saying a lot yeah, of it. But he would. Of, but like he walls. wouldn't. He wouldn't change and compromise. Can that? Could that be correct? Well, I think I was willing I to change. Yeah, I don't know. I yeah, was, yeah. He's not capable of change. So there it's we go. Like I'm capable wow. of change. I don't think I you're, you're, just, yeah. un, you're unchangeable. Yo, you're starting a fire right now that can't be put out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know yeah, 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 yeah. I'm capable I hope you know of what you're change. doing. I'm just going to try, to try to teach you a lesson to not to do a podcast live. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's what this is, okay? Uh, you, yeah, you <laughs> leaned into <laughs> it. Yeah, you started leaning hammering it. it. That, was right. that was the boy. That was the boy. But Lord. I want to say this before we'll move on, okay? okay? Don't look at me like that. Like what? Did, like... <laughs> No, those are my Asian She was eyes. first like That's really she was first look. really excited to do this podcast with you. I think mm. now she hates you. I don't think you do. I think you like me. <laughs> That's the love. Same that birthday. Love? Same birthday. You, you guys have the same birthday? You guys. You, September 17th? Yeah. Me Virgo? Let's Virgo, get a, can we get a pound? Up, can we, that's the Virgo. You know you love talking Virgos. Come on, please pound me. You know, please. you know, there you love talking Virgos. Yeah, yeah. So we're Virgos, right? And maybe that's why you and I butt heads. Mm. Yeah, I think that you and I probably couldn't hang out, right? I think you and I would fight a lot, right? But I think that you and I are the same. Isn't Virgos Rams? Isn't we're that Rams? a Ram? We, no, oh, yeah. we're. No. Oh, that's we're like sweet sea like creature with the water. Women, yeah, we're virgins. Yeah, we're virgins. You know, he he's also. You guys have the same hair. 
Yeah, I know. He stole it from me, though. He stole it. So this whole, <laughs> yeah, this whole look, over here. This, this whole, whole, whole thing <laughs> is <laughs> fucking... Give a close-up of you. This whole out. thing <laughs> is stolen from me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's it's It makes me so angry. That's probably over there. Right, yeah. That is insane. Our actually. universes are crossing a lot. I will say um, a couple, like uh, about a month or two ago, yeah. I did an audition. I didn't get it. And I felt like it was so in my lane. <laughs> and then a week later, my agent tells me, Bobby got it. What was it? It was for the Sex in the City reboot, and uh, it was you. It was totally, and I wasn't mad. I was like, yeah. "That's you." That's I your did an part. audition for it. Oh shit! But well, thank you. Life <laughs> life. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, number one, I did an audition. Number well, gonna, now I'm mad. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. <laughs> number one, I did an audition, and I turned it down. You t- wow. wow! So, so this is what happened. I love it. Damn. So, All right, let me gather myself. <laughs> so they first initially offered to me when I was in Hungary because I was in Hungary yeah, for two sh- months, mm-hmm. and I was um, there, and I had a couple of days off, and I got an email going, uh, "Would you like to read for the Sex and City?" Yeah, and I politely said, "No, I'm really busy, so no." Right? <laughs> yeah. When I got back in the town, they made me an offer. I said no. The second- why'd you wait? Why'd you say no the second time? Because I, I did. I was. I was fear. It's out of fear because it's, I just don't feel like tonally it would have been like, I think the show is a, a huge franchise, right? But it's like, I kind of familiar with the show. I just feel like my brand, I don't know. I just felt well, you like, you know, the part made sense. Cause you know, it, a mean? little bit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then they called me, Michael called me the showrunner and he goes, can you please do it? But I'm, sh- I'm sure you're a second. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> don't make me, but don't make me feel good about that, 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 that uppercut. I'm sure you're a second. I'm sure you were like literally pinned. Yeah. They put a pin in you. You brought that back with that? That's where you were getting to? Oh my God. Right? I love and, it. and I want to say this. Look, look, Ronnie Chang. Little Ronnie Chang, right? Shang Chai. What's that movie called? Shang Chi. Yeah, yeah. Shang Chai. Shang Chai, right? You know, you fucked that up purposely. <laughs> you fucked that up purposely. That. And, yeah. and little Ronnie Chang, I call him little Ronnie Chang now, all right? Uh-huh. Beat me out of that part. Uh-huh. You don't think that burned a little bit? It does. Uh-huh. You know, Jimmy, little Jimmy, Jimmy O. Yang? Mm. He beats me out a, a couple of so times. So you were, Sherry, were you the on last, that? The last what? guest what? took his spot, his other audition too. Who? Sherry. Oh, Sherry took a part. Oh, Sherry Cola? She took over a voiceover part. It's fine. Yeah, yeah. But so I think in the scheme of things, it goes just. I think it goes Ronnie Chang, yeah, Jimmy O Yang, okay, me, and then you. <laughs> I, I, no, I, I don't. Th- I don't think I'm even in the. the I think comedy you no, no, one hundred percent you are. Okay, but because I see your, I hear your name being thrown around a lot. I don't know about that, but I could definitely see you being number three out of the three you mentioned. Though. Mm. Uh, no, no, I'm saying because of the Hollywood roles we're seeing right now, like if they're getting everything. Okay, can I just know? say this though yeah. to defend myself, right? <laughs> Yeah, I'm uh, not attacking you. I, I know you are. I'll, I'll, I'll put you on number one. But if Borderlands, I could. Borderlands, the one movie I didn't know, I was number wow. one on. And that was one of the biggest. That's, that's a big one. That's a big one. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So that's, you know, Kate Blanchett. Yeah. You know what I mean? Isn't it? I worked with her. I worked with Kevin Hart, all yep. these people, right? Yep. So it's like, I think everyone has their idea of what they want. Yeah. And I think that you're in the mix. I hope. You are. You're home 100%. In thing. fact, yeah. I have a show that me and my friend Gene mm. were talking about that it's a really good show. People love it. Yeah. And we haven't pitched it yet. Um, but um, there's a part in there that I, I, I just said up front. I go, I think you should be it. Ooh. Dumbfounded. Yes. You know what I mean? So my point, I don't want to pound. I don't want to pound. All right. right. But my point is, is that out of all the, 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 the kids that are out there yeah. that I would cast on a mm-hmm. show, you would probably be, I, you would be before Ronnie and Jimmy. Mm. I think Sherry Cola would be before I Ali Wong and Sherry. some yeah. other people for me. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I just have my own tastes. Yeah. You know what I mean? And my vibe. You yeah. know? Yeah. Can I say it's a little bit more grungy? Oh, you so still. The, the vibe. <laughs> just let that, let that sink in. Be the grungy. We're grungy. A little grungy. No, no. Just let that sink in. Okay. She just called us. Mm. Hear, hear me out. Just, just, just stuff. Grungy, yeah. Koreans, <laughs> what? And, and and bro, you're in, you're in he, that. Yeah. Oh, he. We know that. he's in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We know he's You're King Grungy, dude. You're the leader. Okay. Yeah, he is the but leader. But my point is, is that, yeah. and I feel, no offense to you. Yeah. I feel that was a slam. Oh my god. And yeah. I was, I, I was hurt by it. One hundred percent. Yeah. yeah. Are you Grungy? You. Would you say yeah, you're Grungy? Thank you, thank you, you know what? I might look like I'm not, but I feel like I truly kind of deep. You know me. 
Yeah. I'm kind of, gr- I'm gross. She's goofy. She's gross. I feel like y'all are the type to not shower, like maybe for a week or two. Wow. That's true, but rude. Yeah, but I'm in that, I look like You don't like shower? I, I look like I shower. That's the thing. But you I don't. Look, no, I don't. I really. When do you, when's the last time you took a shower? <sighs> Three days. No, about six. Six, six days? days? Yeah. You haven't showered yeah. in haven't six showered. days? Okay, sometimes I'll go and wash my under places. One, you know, depends. What do you mean? Like you hover my over under, a sink and just I'll go, throw no, water under I'll the I'll go to my like... bathtub and I'll clean the bottom. Mm. I feel like I'm also just saying that's because we're alive right now. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. So you're a grungy then too. Yeah. All right. So I'm not uh, saying it in a bad okay. way. Don't be defensive. Yeah. We're all uh, we're on the same team here. Yeah. Yeah, We're on the same true. team doing We're the same thing. Now you right? are. There's I no mean, fight. Fun. When she right? said We're six just... days, now you're in yeah. the crew. Yeah. I'll tell you who's not grungy. Okay? This guy. Yeah, he's clean as well. Yeah, this guy's too clean for I me. Mean, but he sweats really fast. All right. Like, oh, really? I mean, yeah. You know, I, really I, have, I have big pores. It's not something I could, you know. <laughs> yeah, God, yeah. Maybe no, no. You big are. head, big pores. Big Yo, do I really have a big head, though? Yeah, you 100% do. And you and, have and there's nothing you can do about it. Uh, there's nothing I know. Yeah, 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 you know yeah. what's crazy? I never noticed you have a huge head until Bobby came here <laughs> and became My kind of a, than Bobby's just a compa- real? your head looks significantly bigger than Bobby's head. right now. Actually, yeah. his head. No, no, no. I mean, in real life, <laughs> it wouldn't right. be able to fit this thing. <laughs> All right. Yeah, it would be above. His head is like up around it. Yeah. And there's yeah. no way to do that, so they shrunk it. My Come point on, is, my is head. that I think that in terms of the head game. <laughs> All right. Don't say head game. Yeah, yeah. In terms of the head game, dude, one head game it baby. goes. I have to say, you, you're not beat. Mm. I think David So beats you. David yeah, So right? has a big, a big head, head yeah, right? Has a big but head. I think you're a real close second, and that that should feel good to you. <laughs> is that a good thing? That's I don't a, know. It's a I don't very know. good thing. You know who else has a big head? Is Danny Cho has a big head. Danny Cho has a ugly, ugly big head. <laughs> <laughs> no, I love Danny Cho. I miss him, don't you? I do miss I him. I do. He's what is he doing out there? He went to Korea to do stand up in but Korean. Why? He's bringing vulgarity but to Korea. The you tricky know? part is there's no Korean stand up scene, <laughs> so that's the, he, I. It's, I don't know. It's interesting. Yeah. I saw him do stand up in Korean. Yeah, but because Danny to me. Um, I hope he listens to this. What's up, Danny? Is somebody that I haven't talked to in a while, but um, when he was a young kid, I could put my, I would put a million dollars on him. Yeah, I love Danny. Because I go, I thought to myself, you know, in terms of the next generation of guys, I want this guy to be the leader, you know, yeah. because I think that, um, again, the grungy Korean thing, I get what you're saying when you say that, like, I'm very dirty. Mm. And, but just not just in my physical self, but yeah. mentally. Mm-hmm. And the way I behave, even mm-hmm. you know, what I mean, I'm just a kind of, I have no filter, and right. I, I'm crazy in that way. But um, I feel like you're the same. You know what I mean? I think so. Yeah, yeah. I think you're the same. We we keep. What? Dude, we're not in a Japanese horror movie. Why do you have to look <laughs> like what that? Do you mean? You're like, you have the scariest face. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I have to say, he has a big head. You have a scary face. I think that was a jab at me. No, but you, I've been just nice, you know. Since I, no, I you, gave you haven't been nice. <laughs> you haven't been nice. I gave been... you the gift. Okay, okay, okay. okay let's start. Okay, okay. Uh, yeah, thank you. Come to me, Dan. Now listen, to you. All right. And I want to say that, you know, honestly, if I was dating her, and it was in the dark. <laughs> And I saw her like moony, you know what I mean, glowy face, yeah, yeah, right yeah. in the night, right? It would freak the fuck, yeah. like freak like me the grudge, out. like the grudge, like the grudge. Yeah, yeah. She's like, oh. you know what I mean, just looking at me. I, I would just be like, get the fuck out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you have a really glowy, it's, it's moony, a bit, yeah, 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 very spooky face. Yeah, you know what's crazy? <laughs> yeah, you're having a complete different experience with her than Steve. Did. Oh yeah, what's my brother's experience? They they had like one of the best chemistry episodes ever on his podcast on his uh-huh i feel like this is genuine chemistry too this, this is, is genuine, genuine. You know? it's, a it's a different chemistry. kind of vibe yeah stevie's more like you know like easy going mm. he's funny you don't think he's easy going i don't think i am no he's definitely not easy going she was really excited to meet you though she was you know i was huge. so excited well yeah he, he had to tell me he's like don't don't act all he's like just chill out he yeah. told me he's never told me that. He's like, so, just does, chill out. so does this change the vibe? Like, what are your thoughts? Now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Moment of disillusionment right now. I, I said I like Stevie better. Do you really mean that? And that I, 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 like I, he really I, means sounds, it. Yeah. Honestly, I can take that. But if you really mean, you, do you like my brother better? And that's okay if you do. I mean, I don't know you very well. Okay, there we go. That's a fact. That's a fact. Yeah, so yeah. I'm gonna keep giving it a try, and then I'll tell you at the end. You know, I, I think if you keep, keep giving it a try, it's not gonna work. Oh. Because <laughs> because I've already given you everything I have. <laughs> Have you, have you even, He's have given, given you. us the template for podcasts. Right. So yeah, yeah, we're yeah. here. Yeah, no yeah. lives. Yeah. Yeah. R. Gilbert. Come on, baby. The, um, you're, okay. you're the gay Filipino. <laughs> Relax. Yeah, no, I'm kidding. Bro, I'm, come I'm, on, kidding. I'm kidding. I love Gilbert. But let me just ask you about my brother, though. My brother, um, 
Number one, um, we are the same in many ways. Mm -hmm. Number two, he is nicer than I am, uh -huh. right? Uh -huh. Number three, he's the younger brother, so there's just something built into that where he's, um, you know, because I, I've been in this business since I was 23 years old, and he wasn't in, t in the comedy business. He was always rapping and, and yeah. doing his mm -hmm. thing, right? That he, I think he feels like for many t for many years he was under my shadow in a weird way. Mm -hmm. But I think that right now, in the last year or two, he's really done his own thing. Come out on He's his come own. out on his own, yeah. and yeah. I'm so proud of him for that. Because even w when we were on Mad TV, the producers would be like, this is back in the day, would be like, your brother, something very special about him, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. And so, and I've always known that about him, right? He's in many ways way more talented I am. Even in comedy, I like his brand of comedy. I have a feeling you would have a problem in a multiverse if he was more famous than you. Mm. I feel it. The like hypothetical I, pissed him off right now. Yeah. Yeah, the, the, the multiverse <laughs> hypothetical pissed me off. Yo, but, for real. But, I'm but, flipping the multiverse on you. You're flipping my mind. You're flipping yeah, it yeah. on me. That's very good. Something that I would do, so they stole that from me. <laughs> Let's so, go. So I, I like it. I like it. Yeah. No, but I mean, so, it's something to think about, right? Yeah. Like, you're very honest about your feelings. So if that were to happen, I feel like you would be very uncomfortable in a way. But in one co what context? So... Was I already done all the things that I have done, and then he somehow goes above that's me? That's interesting. Or? Like right now, if he started getting more traction and that's became not true. more famous than that's you, what true. would happen? That okay. In that case, you'd be cool with it. Not even cool, beyond cool. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. Kalila is getting things on her own and things that I couldn't even get. So it feels like you had your run. Is that how you feel? No, what? I I, it... I want people to get their due. Yeah. I want people to shine, and I I that, I don't think that would be the case. I got you, but. If I was um, his older brother and my brother had all the success and I was working at like the electrical department at Home Depot. Yeah, yeah. And I'm just like trying to, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't know how it works there, but like the red wire and the blue wire, they're <laughs> yeah. put the, yeah. putting him in the shell. Being... And someone's like, hey, aren't you Steve's brother? <laughs> yeah. Whoa, yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah. And then I'd be like, and my brother was like a millionaire yeah. and he was killing it. And I was there. I, I don't know. Maybe you're right. Maybe right. I'd be like, I wouldn't be mad at him. It would probably go introspective and go, what's wrong with me? Mm. Why didn't I try? You know what I mean? I'm a loser. Mm. Yeah. Do okay. you guys have conversations like that, you and your brother? Like the more introspective stuff? Oh, yeah. My brother and I talk about... Oh, God, it's... You have to understand, my brother and I slept in the same room when we were kids, up until we when we were 10, yeah. you know? And him and I, you know... We'd, we'd, it'd be like two in the morning on a Saturday night, and we'd be both awake. And I go, would go, how are you feeling? I don't know. You know, we would have yeah. these conversations Aww. at night, our dreams. Oh, wouldn't it be cool? What invisible power would you want? Or power <laughs> would you want? I go, I want invisibility. What you? I breathe underwater or whatever it might be. Yeah. And we would both have these things. And then my dad was so violent, mm. right, and crazy and rageaholic. Yeah. That you know him and I had to kind of bond in that way as well as survivors, yeah. you know? I'm the same way with my younger sister. Yeah. My dad, violent, beating my mom up. Yeah. Yeah. One day I'm in my room with my sister. They're fighting my mom, my throwing stuff around. My mom, my dad comes into the room, turns on the light and goes, wake up, who do you want to live with? Your mom or me? Yeah. And oh, I'm wow. just a kid like, yeah, you know. I just want you to stay together. And I ran under the blanket and I just Aww. stayed there. Oh, I just stayed the rest of the night. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. We all have stories like that. Yeah, you know, you know, your mom parents and dad, did that? Oh, yeah. My Violet, dad was Violet. rage too. And then there were moments when like my mom would yell, call the police, you know? Yeah. yeah. So you're on the phone and you don't want to do it. You're like, you're at that fork in the road, you know? Can I ask you a question, Rick? Yeah, of course. Do you think that you're the Korean Morpheus? Why the lit glasses? <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, I, uh, uh, I mean, are we in the Asian matrix? You know, I, uh, <laughs> it's, uh, it's, I'm a little nerve wracking, right? It's a little nerve wracking right now, you know? Oh. Yeah, mine too, huh? What do you mean? Mine has a little, you know? Has you a got prescriptions of, on those glasses? A little bit, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you a prescription? Maybe. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. You look like a club promoter. What's going on, on bro? bro? You know, I wanted to I wanted to look my best in front of B Hyung over here. You know yeah. I mean? Can I call you B Hyung Young? <laughs> oh yeah, you can call me whatever you want. <laughs> B I'm calling B Hyung, bro. Yeah. Speak I like I like guys like this. What what do you what so, is I never had Korean friends like this. 
What's like that what? Mean? He's very Korean in, in that way. He's very yeah, Korean. Yeah, you guys American. are not Korean enough, and that's kind of disappointing. A little bit. What What do you mean in that way? Like when you said Chamaneo, like even when we were talking about Alex not being able to speak Korean, he can't speak Korean. But either, that's really. a weird yeah. thing about Bobby. Bobby is the least Korean Korean OG in this kind of. But then he's still the most <laughs> advancing. <laughs> how does that? Mean? How does that? So how does that work? It feels weird. Like you know, if you, if Koreans know you for like playing this part, yeah, but you also like soup because you you kind of. Yeah, deny I mean, it sometimes. For you know? sure, he knows only Rick, one Rick, Korean Rick, restaurant. Rick. Yeah, go ahead, yeah. Rick. <laughs> you have to understand that I booked Mad TV mm. in the year two thousand. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So that was twenty-one years ago. Yep. Okay, is when I booked the show. Yeah. Show business in Hollywood, right, was different then. For sure. It was impossible for us. Mm -hmm. There was years where none of us, I'm talking about like, I knew John Cho back then. Mm. I knew, you know, Margaret back then, you know. Mm. It was so hard, okay? Yeah. Right. So, you know, they're not gonna hire, I don't think, in a sketch show, you mean, a, a Korean dude with an accent who is so immersed in Korean culture. Then they had to find somebody kind of that lives in, both worlds, right, right, right? Right, right, right. And that's what I believe that I am. Like, I do I speak Korean fluently? Yeah. No, but I did grow up in a very Korean family. I wasn't right. adopted. Mm. My parent, my dad was an alcoholic. He worked 18 hours a day. You know how they do. Yeah. But, you know, blue collar, you know, and I grew up in that environment. You know, on Sundays, the family would get together, all the cousins and uncles and stuff like that. And they'd speak Korean. We'd had kimchi jjigae and yeah. bubba, and all. Yo, you know kimchi. You know kimchi jjigae. Come on, like bro. He knows. He's like, coming. What the fuck yeah. are you talking about? Yeah, I didn't know. I, I had no know idea. What the fuck are you about, I didn't know you know what kimchi jjigae was, bro. Come like, you know on. What I mean? Oh my. Wow. Okay. Kong Alex, come I know how to. I know how to. Why are you angry? How far? How removed do you think he is from Korean culture? Very far. Bro, bro, bro. If you go into parks, right? My photos up there. Yeah, that you took. I know. <laughs> you, I mean, come on, I know the background. No, yeah, but I mean. he, come on, bro. He's from, like, he knows the LA Korean shit, too, bro. I'm not saying he's completely oblivious. You're from to Virginia, if anything. Yeah, you're, 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 you're less Korean than I am because you're from Virginia. Yo, Virginia has We're the K -Town, bro. biggest Korean population in the United States, all right? Let's just get uh, that straight. Okay, I want to get this straight, okay? Uh, okay? You don't think I've been to Virginia and you don't think I've been to a Korean <laughs> restaurant in Virginia? I have, all right? Okay, okay. So when I play DC, when I play show, DC, though. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We would go into Virginia to get the Korean food, yeah, right? Yeah. It's garbage. <laughs> it's pure garbage <laughs> Korean food. You're telling me that any restaurant- yeah, I'm gonna take a few gifts back. Oh, no, you're telling that any- <laughs> Right, you compare Chosan, yeah. Yeah. right? With all any right. Korean restaurant in Virginia, right? I Parks. Mean, your produce is better Compared. out here. That's the only reason why the kimchi tastes better. But oh know. no, or you're or you have white people cooking your fucking Korean food. You got Quakers. Oh. You got Chill, Quakers baby. cooking That's your Korean like. food. White people <laughs> cooking their Korean food, right? You got Quakers and, cooking the food there, and, bro. And, and then when I left the fucking Korean restaurant in Virginia, I went mm. like this. <laughs> and I spit right on the fucking floor. Oh Bob, Bobby took his God. picture back. He was like, I'm taking, my, I'm taking my picture back. All right, bro. I, I retract right, it's it. not okay, your, I your, I'm way more Korean than you. Come right, on, look bro. At the, no, we'll, no, let's not do that. Let's yeah, not do that. No, but I no, mean, he is you more started, Korean OG. You started. I didn't you. start it, and I retracted. I'm sorry. Do you I, know Johnny Yoon? Uh, yes. The Johnny Yoon is the guy from Fast and Furious, right? No. The original comedian, man. Come oh, no, on. No, 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 there no. was a Korean. That has, that, that yeah, gives he, no. Do you ever, okay, do you ever see? Did you ever see? They call me Bruce. No. Oh, so there was a Korean dude from the comedy store. Yeah. That was a comic, Korean accent. Mm. Uh, he was a, had an accent, mm. fluent Korean, right? I knew the guy. I know every Korean. I know Henry Cho, right? In in the business, right? I know a lot of Korean people in acting and producing this and that, right? I, basically, what I want to say to you is I know more than you. Okay? okay? <laughs> that's basically the, he, my point. He's trying to get his <laughs> Korean cloud up. His yeah, Korean yeah, cloud. Right, right. Korean people I have Korean Rolodex. cloud. You that's have fine. nothing, Virginia. <laughs> All right, bro. Okay. All right. So All don't right. ever okay, step let up. Me tell you, let me give you a little okay. info about him. Mm -hmm. So this guy is known in the community as an OG Christian Korean rapper. People really know him as that. <laughs> I'm not... I just want. You just gave him mad I ammunition wanna... for no, no reason. Yeah. Like, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, like yeah, come yeah. on. What yeah. Man, but as you know, Koreans are big in the Christian. You know, it's, they it, love it's so bothersome. It's, it's so, it's so yeah. They're really it, big into it. it. Korean so, Christians are so bothersome to me. You can't even. You did you grow up in that? By the way, like that Christian upbringing. My cousin no? Andy and I right, yeah. were brought to church. Yeah. And um, him and I tried to take gasoline from my parents, my my dad's uh, trunk. Yeah. And we were gonna burn down. The church? Half oh the, half the church. 
<laughs> so when we, we took the fucking gas out of the thing, yeah, right? Yeah, right? We had right. all the stuff. And one of the, I forgot who his name, but he was the guy in charge of like, you know, keeping the kids in, you know, in charge. Like he was our pastor or whatever. Yeah. 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 And he caught us doing it, right? My point is that I would oh burn it down. God. You siphon gas from your dad's truck to burn down a gas. I could get in the trunk, trunk, but we were never able to pour it down and light it up. How did that make you feel? You have a new faith. enemy. Look at his face. Yeah, He's changed. How did it make you feel? I'm mad at faith hearing that. Yeah. You know, I, uh, I'm. I'm terrified right now. You know what I mean? That, I'm, that I'm, bothers you. That's disturbing bothersome. to you. It's very bothersome. His, I, he lost points in my do book. You, right do you? Do you? I, I lost points in your book. I mean, it doesn't matter. You, you had know? no points in my book. I get it. I, 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 I get it. Get it. Yeah. Not a single point well, in my book. Saying, <laughs> you, you, you know. <laughs> You want to talk about books, bro? Yo, what book are you talking about? The Bible? Or what are you bro, talking about? You know, yeah, yeah. now I'm rethinking the whole gift it's, and all that. Like, I don't it's even know. surprising how lovable you are mm. on TV. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So what you're as saying. As opposed to this. As right opposed here. to this. I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and I, okay, I'm gonna take these off. <laughs> oh, uh, all of you guys took your glasses all, yeah, off. Yeah. Okay. What's yeah, going on? Right, Everybody right, took right, the glasses right. off. So you want to go then? Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. All right, let's go. Church burner, dude. Okay. I'm a church burner, okay? <laughs> church young burner. lady. Young lady. I all right. don't like the young part. All right. In terms of, of American podcasting, in terms of, you know I mean, comedy, mm -hmm. right? I feel like I'm in the top <laughs> sure. percentile, sure. right? Of not just Korean dudes doing it, but this is mixed in with the Puerto Ricans, Mexicans, Joe Rogan, the whole fucking yep. thing, right? Yep. I'm not saying that I'm in the top 100, but I'm in the top 1,000, okay? <laughs> I'm in the okay. top 1,000, yeah, right? Yeah, that's a big deal. To be... My age, right, being 50, I have to survive, okay? So back in the fucking day, right, <laughs> I would have to go to New York and do Opie and Anthony, that radio show. Mm -hmm. right. It's way before your time, okay? okay? But on Opie and Anthony, you had to do it with Jim Norton, Patrice O'Neill, yep, right. Greg Giraldo. These are killers. killers, yeah. Not just killers, and monsters yeah. of comedy. Mm -hmm. They rip you apart, right? Yeah. And being a little fat Korean man, right? <laughs> I had to survive, okay? Oh. And so what you're saying now, this mm. personality, that you think is unsavory, <laughs> right, is the way I survive in this business. Uh, sure. And if you don't like it, don't listen. But I'm in front of you. <laughs> <laughs> That's, yeah, no, I'm not literally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. No, I'm You've built a tough skin around you. Yeah, that's no. what it is, and that's what you're seeing, okay? Yeah. But if you deep... Do dig deep yeah. within my soul. Yeah, you'll find my brother. <laughs> you think your brother is that version of yeah. you Aww. that's not tainted hold by on, the industry? On, back up my yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Underneath was, the callus. Yeah, that got that got kind of scary that's a little true. bit. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. That got, got a little bit. again. You'll see. It, uh, you'll see. It I again. got a rush out of it to be that honest. Got a little, <laughs> yeah, yeah. That got a little scary. So little you're right. You, you know, I've done some television yeah. and, and film. <laughs> and, um, and you know and i you know if it's an acting part uh yeah. i am you know like i i'm on reservation dogs yeah I, I and i play that. the I doctor saw. in there and i you know i'm playing a part and i'm kind of like this likable tired kind of over it doctor mm -hmm. right it's a part but that's not essentially who i am right, right? yeah i think this is closest to who i am are you a survivor? Are you excited <laughs> to play a version of the closer version to who you are in future roles that are you're getting? Um, or have you even you think you've had a chance to be that person? Was Matt TV kind of the closest? Nah. Uh, that's an interesting question. Um, I think you know I, I do Magnum PI. I mean, that guy's closest to right. who I am. I, right. I I don't know. Um, I don't think about it because it's like if I think about it, then you know I just want to be able to like read the thing and then like try to figure out the best way to serve the thing right right so it's like i'm just doing whatever they want or want really yeah which is the problem with what we do it's like you know back in the day when there was only like thick asian accents that we had to do right yeah. that's all you know what i mean that that's like so simple and um hmm. they didn't think outside the box you know what i mean so that's it's true. like but now we, the stuff that we're getting is closest to what white people get and I think, um, you know, I don't know what the question is. <laughs> <laughs> you see Shang-Chi yet or what? what, what somebody says, I, 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 I will never want that poor shirt. What does that mean? Oh, what do you, I don't know. This shirt? I don't know. He's talking about that? Hepburn? I'm talking about, you know, me. I don't know. Audrey Hepburn? Uh, 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 but, uh, no, you know, Catherine. Catherine. Catherine Hepburn. It's Audrey Hepburn. 
That's Catherine. Oh, that's a different Hepburn. Hepburn? That's a different Hepburn. Which Hepburn is this? Ca- oh, that is, that doesn't look like Audrey Hepburn. So that is a different Hepburn. That's Kathy Hepburn. Ca- Catherine. Oh, okay. I always thought that was Audrey. <laughs> nah, the Audrey looks a little different. Audrey has a, you know, beehive. Yeah, you're right. Okay. <laughs> can, can somebody Google it uh, on on the yeah. internet? Yeah. And yeah. Take a poll can, real quick. I will bet you. Can I bet you no, right that's now? That's Catherine Hepburn. Yeah. Can we? I want to say this is Audrey. And you're saying it's Catherine. That's right there. You know what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's Catherine Hepburn. I didn't that's make Catherine. A bet, though. Okay, that's we Catherine. Didn't make a... Yeah, that's Catherine. Yeah, that's Catherine. Yeah, that is Catherine. Yeah, that's yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're right. We didn't bet. Thank God. Thank God we didn't bet. Um, so yeah. young, at this podcast, you know, you surrounded with your own though. You know, you get that that, <laughs> that necessary callus that you built up with Opie and Anthony. I get it. I get your I get okay. your bio. Just shave that off right now, young Nim. Shave it you're off. Being young today. Take it off. You're All being right. young today. You know what I mean? <laughs> All right. Yeah. All right. So you're saying you want right. him to feel comfortable, right. comfortable right, right, right now, right, you know? Right, right. I get it. No, I understand. So that you're that saying he's not in that world no more, so you're relax. Right. You're right. Right. You're yeah, absolutely I'm, right. I, I love let this. Let me start, Let me walk into it. Yeah, yeah, please, bro. Take your shoes off, too, while you're at it. Go ahead, relax. Oh, Hyung's here. Oh, Hyung wants up. By the way, he took a tour of my house just stomping all over with my shoes on my rug and everything. All right. He kept his shoes on here? It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Yo, oh, what's hey. up? Oh my god! Hi. <laughs> wait, 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 wait! No, 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 ladies and gentlemen, Bobby Lee. Hey. Bobby Lee, hello. <laughs> Thanks for having me here. Yeah. Hello. How you been, young? I feel good, and I'm so <laughs> I'm so glad that you asked me to do this podcast. I'm really grateful to be here. Nice. Yeah, man, we're so. I like excited. you, man. You like seem you like too. what's your name, Rick? My name is Rick Young. You keep touching my wrist here. I don't <laughs> yeah, mind. It. Yeah, yeah. But you're picking your nose. You're done, B. I, you know you do this. Yeah, yeah. It's, you know. Yeah. So okay. Can I go back to my old song? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I need to go to my book because I, with started, this character, I can't. He started taking advantage yeah, of yeah, 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 yeah. No. He started kind of taking advantage of When you, when you give them an inch, they take a mile. That's right, what I'm right. saying. Okay. Yeah, yeah. You know that term? Why yeah, yeah. Turn yeah. into this kind of like, yeah, yeah. don't touch no, my wrist. Yeah, yeah. 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 Okay, yeah you, like my, defenses too, were, yeah. my defenses were down and you attacked me. Right, right. So um, I'll come on you. I don't give a fuck. All, all right, so I will bust a load no, no, no. onto your you shirt. Can, you I don't give a fuck. All right, I don't know what that was. So I'm sorry. Yeah. Be, uh, so um, you know, I, I think the the person that came in mm. is more me. Mm. Yeah. Right. So I'm just gonna do this. Okay. Yeah. No, it's good. That's all right. So I apologize no, that I'm no, not. I, like, you, I, like I I'm apologize. I because I, I touch too. people that I like. I didn't know that. Okay. So yeah. Um, no. Respect. It's yeah, that's respect. respect. No, yeah. A, no, no, because no. here's the thing. I feel I agree. It's like if you come from that world, because I guess I'm in entertainment too. Like you yeah. gotta respect that. I feel like everybody in general is a little bit. Mm. A lot of people don't come from that school for sure, right? What school is that? The school of the roast culture yeah. of people. Yeah, yeah. you yeah. know. Yeah, yeah. like yeah. I'm from battle rap. He's from comedy. You, you know, you're nah, hip hop sure. too. Yeah. So I guess in my general world, I do tend to just treat people like that too. Like there's an expectation. There is this niceness. There's this like, but you know, you're too nice to each other. You, you know think I mean? people are like a little too much with that sometimes, no, no, or what? No, no, you no, can't no. handle that. I no, think no, your generation is weak. Yeah, my, I'm saying. Oh no, yeah, yeah. I uh, honestly believe you're that. You're not the same. I mean, you're I not know, the yeah, same yeah. generation. But I'm saying even our generation should feel like the new generation is weak because we're yeah, older. Yeah, 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 not yeah, young. Yeah, yeah. 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 It's a weaker. As the generations go on, they get weaker and more sensitive. Right. And I grew up in a different generation of like guys really picking on me. Mm. And you, you, you would probably disagree with that, right? With what? Because you, you, you tend to understand this generation, Gen Z, and you say they are a lot stronger in a sense. Yeah, they're stronger because they're using their words in a more positive way. I think they're trying to make this world. Why are you laughing? Oh no, no, no! I'm, I'm listening. I'm listening. <laughs> that was a good. That, that wasn't. Was, uh, Go ahead. Go ahead. Go please, please explain. Yeah, yeah. Please, I'm sorry. No, I want to hear what you, Yeah, I want to finish. Rick? I think that we're able to use our words more. Um, I think there's more vocabulary for people to understand how people are feeling. So you can discuss things instead of like going to anger or rage. I mean, we come from a generation where our parents were also super, a, a lot of times abusive and mm. aggressive. And we're seeing the cycle slowly calm down a bit. So we're, you know, we have but a we're chance. not talking about using rage. We're talking about using humor or comedy. Yeah. yeah. Also, yeah. Um, we're also talking about being human, right? I think in in all aspects of society and culture throughout time, right? Like back in the day, like I don't, I can't say a specific place, but like let's say there was a port, right? And this is a hundred years ago. And when you go to a port town, you have a, a different variety of ethnicities. Like you have Portuguese, or you know what I mean. And these guys, in order to um, bond. 
and and bond each other through being a human, they make fun of each other. They call each other nicknames. They exactly. joke around. You know what I mean? If somebody is from a different race, they'll call them like you know. Like for me, they used to call me uh, Sneaky Chopsticks, you know what I mean, in high school. You sneaky know? Chopsticks? Yeah, 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 yeah. Why, why Sneaky Chopsticks? I was sneaky and I'm Asian, all right? That's <laughs> So like, you know, when people call me Sneaky Chopsticks. I never, heard, sneaky chop <laughs> I never yeah. heard Sneaky Chopsticks. You, you know, and it's like, you know, my friend's doing it, and I, we would call, you know, the Mexican guy something else, right? right. And it was just a way for us to bond and laugh so you, you do you like that term now of though if someone said that to you now are you okay with it in this generation like been, in this time okay so i want to say you know tony hinchcliffe yeah you Joe know tony. how he got in trouble yeah, 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 yeah. a month mm -hmm. a right. couple of months ago yeah um and i want to say something controversial yeah right now mm -hmm. But um, that didn't offend me as much as other Korean Asians got offended mm. Mm. because, you know, there's a culture at comedy clubs, right? When, you know, you ask a kid, like if I had a, a little black kid opening for me, right? I might have this, I might say something as a headliner about him, mm -hmm. right? Like, you know, he's black, but he's got a small dick or whatever it might be. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Or some way to make fun of him, right? And um, it's just a part of, yeah, you mean the, the 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 deal, right? And it's like, you know, I I, I, can, I can understand how people that aren't in comedy would list, look at that clip and go, oh, what a right, oh, I'm offended, what a, you know what I mean? But it's like, you know, I think a little bit people are a little too sensitive. Right I, I now. get that. I agree. I like the kill. <laughs> I'm a fan of the Kill Tony show. I like the Kill Tony yeah. show. And if you see his regulars, there's always this oddball like. The black dude, yeah, the yeah. Asian dude. Yeah. It's like it's like the handicapped guy. Yeah, and yeah, they go yeah, in. Yeah. You they know what in. I mean? They, they go, go in. in. Right. Yeah. So to me, that like fucked me up a little bit because I was like torn. I was like, I'm a fan of this show too. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, when you see yeah. the roasts, right? Like you know the um, roast battle. Yeah. Right. Have you been to those? Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah. The things that what I love about them is because you're just going, oh, none of these cultural things that yeah. we're learning now, right, apply to this environment. Mm -hmm. Because you're hearing rape jokes, you're hearing, you know, real ethnic, you know what I mean, slams. Yeah, and heinous shit. Heinous sure. shit, deaths in the family people right. make fun of, you right. know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And it's like, it's just a, such a pure form of expression. Absolutely. And it's all in love and fun, and I just don't want people to forget about it, that's all. I think the, I, the loves get, the love kind of gets stripped away once people start commenting that's about it. That's what I'm it. saying. And that kind of sucks, you know what I mean? Yeah. You, I mean, you, you know, I think it's all taste stuff. It's you have all to taste. move with the generation, right? It's just like, as we progress, you have to follow the young generation or you will get mm. washed out. That's just how it is. Yeah. Outside of, so you know, things being PC or not, but it's like, it's like the older generation always hates like the youth. It's always the case. It's always been that way. But if you don't follow, if you you see the people that follow it, like someone like Snoop Dogg, mm. he's relevant. Yeah. So he's here's a cool. here's a process. So you you know how you're the slept king. This is like the woke queen. Yeah, this, no. is, this is like a very well, this is like a I complete opposite oh kind of. I get it. Saying, that is true. You could call him the slept king on his podcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because uh, I don't know I don't know anything like about it. Opposite. I refuse to learn. <laughs> I, I really, I refuse to learn, and I don't want to buy into it. But you know Snoop Dogg, right? But is he woke? He's just always stays on top of new culture. I feel like yeah, he's always involved in it. He helps the youth. He cares about. Them. I'm not saying he's woke or, or I don't know, but he is on in tune with it. We're having a woke up. These huh? new <laughs> sexual labels, for instance, labels for instance, like being fluid or pa pansexual. Uh -huh. I'm learning them, yeah. and I believe it. Right, so in the in that way, yeah, you know what I mean. It's like, you know what I mean. You you want me to call you non-binary? Fine, right. Let me learn about it, mm. right, mm. and understand it. I'm not old and like refuse to learn and and and, and holding on to my, you know what I mean. Right. If it makes sense to me, I'll go. All right, I'll do it. Right. But I'm just saying that, like, um, let me defend Andrew Schultz real quick. Yeah, mm. go ahead. Um, <laughs> like I have to defend Andrew Schultz real quick. Yeah, I'm sorry. Like, um. That um, when, when I hosted, I, ho I, I was in Montreal year, a couple years ago, and I hosted the, um, the, the Dirty Show. Yeah. It was me, Jimmy Carr, um, a bunch of us. Andrew was on it, right? I didn't know him. Uh, and I have to say that we did, I don't know how many shows, eight shows or whatever, whatever it is, maybe more. And um, I have to say that that dude is a legit comedy entity. Yeah. He's a beast. He is a beast. Yeah. Crowd work is crazy. His crowd fast. work is so fast. I'll never be able to do it's it. Insane, yeah. And he also has insights about 
the business that I learned from. So you can say whatever you want about Andrew Schultz. He's legit. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm a fan. I mean, I watch all this <laughs> I'm shit. I'm sorry. I, I should. Can you turn this off? Because it's, <laughs> yeah. it's, 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 don't, don't look at yeah, the yeah, chat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's like don't I'm hearing like Bobby's ugly. I, I can't. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Now, in my peripheral, I'm reading it. Right. No, no, yeah, 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 yeah. actually took that's it a thing, yeah, that's, a, that's a fucked up thing about the chat. People yeah, are always yeah. gonna want they they want that attention for you to look at the comments yeah, and say yeah. it. Don't oh yeah, say yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want to know about how ugly I am. So, but um, that's the thing. It's like, how can you get mad if cats like, for instance, Andrew Schultz, like he does crowd work so fast about every culture and knows. Just turn it up, bro. It's fine. <laughs> just and, and, and <laughs> God damn, bro. don't yell at him, dude. Look at him. I don't. Know, <laughs> You want everyone on the screen to look tanned as you? Like, what are you, are you turning it down? Jesus. All right. You just told him to turn it down. No, you, I turn okay. it up. Yeah. No, I'm saying um, the way he does crowd work, he knows about every culture. Right. Like the 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 ethnic joke of it. Yeah. You yeah. know what I mean? The background. Like he's hu clearly hung out with like every group. For sure. You know what I mean? So. If anything, more culture than, you know, others. That's the type of shit I like. I like when people roast somebody while like, because and they know the culture really For well. Sure. That's yeah, the kind yeah, of yeah. shit I really fuck with. It's not just like aesthetic disses, right? It's like nah, stuff that like if you know, know the culture and you diss like them culturally familiar with it, then yeah. I fuck with it. So I you agree. have to be from the culture. If not, you don't feel like it's not be from the culture, bro. but like, you know, I, it just has to be funny. That's all it is. You know, yeah. I've heard racist battle rap lines That's against what, me. Of course. That are cliche Asian jokes, but done so good. Right. You know, I'll, I'll name some of my favorite that I've, gotten, that I've gotten hit with. Right. So we're battling outdoors and... I, we're on the street and there's like a doggy daycare center over there <laughs> and my friend goes you see that doggy daycare you probably ate there it was like a, it was like a perfect rhyme right, right, you know yeah, yeah. or someone was like when it's raining cats and dogs you run out with packs of sauce like <laughs> right, it's right. just like really crafty asian jokes you yeah. know and rhymes and it's like when you're in the spur of the moment it's yeah. funny have you, you know? ever have you ever eaten a dog i've never eaten a dog have no. you eaten a dog anybody eaten a dog yes i have uh, but unintentionally, young. Unintentionally. <laughs> at, at those garbage Korean restaurants no, in no, Virginia. No, no, no. Come on, no. No, no, no. I, I fucking told you, bro. No, no, no. They eat dog there, dude. My grandfather presented it to me and didn't tell me what it was. And it was, you know, I finished it. There was a little bone sticking out. What did it taste it was, like? Uh, did it taste like? What? There was a it's bone like a, it sticking like, yeah. out? It's a bone out, at least. Yeah, no. I didn't know what it the was. The bone was in the dog's mouth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was you the know? last thing he fetched. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, it tastes... Uh, it melts in your mouth, man. Oh, what the yeah. what the fuck? You know, it's so if you talk to any um anybody that was a soldier in the Korean War, yeah. you know, it's American. They've tried some of them have tried dog, and they say it's the best meat they've ever had. But they say it's the best. I yeah, they. I heard it's good, but really, I will never. Number one, never eat it. I would have been mad. I would. Yeah, I would. Were you mad, mad when it. you ate it? Well, I was mad when they exposed like what it was. Finally, I was yeah. Very Were you traumatized? Nah, not at all. It was delicious. But was it was it fluffy? I mean, was <laughs> no, it, no, 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 no. It was. It was. You know, just meat. No, like but was the dog named Fluffy? Was it a poodle? <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> was it Fluffy the dog? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. If it was a poodle, that's one thing. Yeah, well, but what? is it, <laughs> it makes yeah, a difference? Yeah, I think so. I think dog? so. I think the cuter the thing is, is right. The more horrifying it has, maybe. Yeah, mm. I mean, yeah. I'm, I'm not into that. That's the. You know, I hate it. Like yeah. if I see pictures of like the Yulin Dog Eating Festival. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. It, There's a dog eating festival. Oh, in Yulin, China. Yeah. yeah, yeah. If if you look at the photos, it'll break your heart. It's the way they transport the animals. Like they put like 50 of them in a little cage, and mm. like they're dogs that like I have. I own four dogs. Mm. Uh, they're in my freezer. Yeah. But <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna eat them in a couple yo, weeks. Yo. No, my Why are we making dog eating jokes right now? Even Asians make dog eating jokes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Um, no, but the way they transport these dogs, they're like they remind me of my dogs, and it's like it, it just fucks you up. Yeah, no, it know. just fucks. It makes me angry, and I, you know, um, I guess I'm uh, being hypocritical because I eat cows. And they're all animals, so right. it's like I, I, I not as cute though. You but know? you don't have a but connection with cows. That's the thing. Yeah, yeah. pigs too. The pigs same are supposed way, to be smarter than Same dogs. way, you guys don't have connections with the people you're roasting. Whoa! Whoa. Get so to what know do, a person. What do you mean? Take that hard shell out. I take but the hell shell out. No, his reentry. But that is how you guy. break down those barriers. You know what I mean? If you get just saying, you brought it up. Just, 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 just kind of just talk to her. There's oh humans will all will always have conflict, okay, mm -hmm. and you know you see it in America right now, right? There's two sides, right? There's liberals, conservatives, and you know how heated it is. Right. That will never change. Yeah. Okay. I think the way to relieve it, right, 
is to be able to make fun of each other, compromise and this and that, right? And get in a room and be able to tease each other like the old Republicans, Democrats used to do, you know? Mm. They used to have those um, um, correspondent dinners where they would make jokes. Yeah, Trump didn't yeah. do it, Trump didn't do it. But I think those are the, those were very healthy, right? Because people, Obama would go up, tell some jokes about McCain. Right. Have you seen that one? Mm -hmm. McCain was very funny as well. And there's, so it's a way to like kind of bond, right? Even though Got you have you. different, you know, so ideas, think, right? Yeah. Yeah. So I think you're wrong. Okay. Mm. I think I know what they think you're wrong. You're pissing me off. Okay. <laughs> I'm playing devil's advocate. I know That's I'm just it. saying that you don't have to be man angry. up. Whoa. Grow up. Grow up. Man up. All right. I don't know if and evolve. You never say man up to a woman. <laughs> oh, you know, oh, you know, I'm sorry, I don't know. Oh, woman she up. Just yeah, 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 just yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. Give me some water. Yeah, yeah. Get, get out of here, man. <laughs> Grow up works for me, but it never worked for you, Shorty. Whoa. Whoa. How tall are you? <laughs> I'm like 5'8". Mm -hmm. I've never seen you really roast. Try to like yeah, roast. That, you know? Yeah, but she's I getting, always do it to you. She's also I'm getting personal, like Shorty. No, because here's the thing. When, I mean, my thing, sister like, oh, no. would fight all no, no. the time. The, the, We're the, always the trick about each roasting other. is yeah. you're never like mean, really. You yeah, know, that roast, was mean what you did. Yeah, what you're doing <laughs> is, yeah, yeah. what you're doing is yeah, kind yeah. of mean. Roasting is like you you say harsh things, but people laugh with you. You know. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, on, yeah, first yeah. of all, yeah, yeah. you're explaining to me roasting, okay? <laughs> yeah, and yeah. I didn't even ask to learn. I wasn't asking how do you roast. Okay, so you have a problem with. I don't work in roast. But do you have a problem with learning? No, but I never even asked. Well, I mean, okay. Why don't you tell the? How tell come everyone? you guys got the fancy one? And no, I just got you two <laughs> drinks off the. You know, all right, you're right. Okay, all right. All right, teach everyone how to roast. No, I'm not teaching nobody. No, we're not. Doing, we're not doing a roast class, okay? Why? We're not, we're not we there. do agree, yeah. like when we freestyle, right? Coming from the hip hop world, when we freestyle, we don't like to have cameras or, or have that archived because we're riffing. You know what I mean? We're just at we're momentary, just like a lot of that wasn't meant to be recorded. That's I would what say. I mean. A lot of roast sessions aren't normally meant to be recorded. Yeah, you know they're meant to be just you're bonding, you're in the green exactly. room, you're having fun, you're killing. And it. when you clip something out of someone's set and take it out of context, you know you could bastardize that real quick. You could ch change that up. You know I don't. I understand comedy clubs, studios. Just when you're brainstorming, don't bring an umbrella. You know what I mean? Don't you agree, Dumb? Do so are you doing wordplay, brainstorming, chill, umbrella? Chill, chill. Um, I'm just trying to lighten the mood. Why don't we right switch here, it up? Because this is getting a little heavy. No, I'm, I I'm starting to sweat. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like doing more, it. Let's I want to hear more about roasting. No, no, no. no, 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 no. Well, let's what let's... you guys are so great at. Let's talk about it. <laughs> no. You're so good at it. Congratulations. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys won. No, let's talk. let's go positive. Yeah, let's go. Positive. I think we should go positive. Yeah, let's go. Why? I think it's getting a little No, no. I think you're being defensive. I'm having fun. Oh, you are? This. I'm having fun. That's not a fun yeah. stance. That's not a. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm wearing blue. I'm, 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 yeah. I'm, but let's, nice let's go positive. Okay. I'll, I may, I'll start. All right. Okay. I have to say that um, you included, <laughs> okay, is, is I've been watching your guys' podcast. Yeah. What are your thoughts? I really like it. And the reason why I called to do it was because I want to, because I remember doing it with that, with the clothing guy, Bobby Hundreds. Bobby Hundreds. <laughs> and, um, <laughs> And he was good. I like him a lot, yeah. right? Uh, Bobby Hundreds. Mm -hmm. And I remember going, that was good. But like, I, I, I feel like, um, yeah, I, I pa why? What's so funny? Yeah, why are you laughing because so he's hard? The only, he, it's like, he's the other Bobby. No, he had nothing to he do. He couldn't remember the other Bobby? <laughs> <laughs> I like him, Bobby Hundreds. Yeah, Bobby he's a good dude, okay? <laughs> You're right. It was weird. <laughs> I should remember. Bobby Hundreds. Yeah. But I, I want to say that um, that I do a lot of podcasts with a lot of white people, some blacks, but I um, podcasting with Asians is a different thing. Mm. And so I just wanted to come back since I had a little time off and to check in with you. That's all. It was a positive thing. I like what you guys are doing. You know what I mean? And all the stuff that I was making fun of about stealing and this and that, it's all in jest and fun, right? Yeah. Um, I think it's similar. <laughs> did you notice that? I just, I, I well, know we were joking I about that. Can tell you honest thing about it? Yeah. He did say, he did when he was, he was choosing I was the worried. colors. Hold on. When he was choosing, he was like, does it look too much like Tiger Belly? <laughs> he asked me. That. But it was too late. We had painted it already. <laughs> <laughs> like, we're running with it. I was it. on my last show. Yeah, we're <laughs> running with it. Yeah, 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 because yeah. when, we, when we were at the paint store, we were like, uh, we we're picking colors and we we're like, nah, this is too much like this, too much yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah. And we're like, this is it. And we came painted it. And we're like, this is like Tiger Belly. He really looks up to your podcast. I mean, I, I have to say. Can I say this, though? We chose our colors from a designer. Mm. <laughs> 
Okay. And 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 can I? It could be this. Is these could be the relevant colors that people are using? They are. So <laughs> y that could have been your influence. That is, it's a hot color. Let's not even talk about that. I think that you're, you're doing being your own so thing. So nice right now. I know. This is so hard for you. Yeah. It, <laughs> no, it's not hard. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I'm just. I'm trying to be positive and nice. All right. I want to say <laughs> that this. You're the younger generation, and I'm. I'm really proud of you guys. I. Um, I you know. When I was doing my thing, you know, alone back in the day, it was me and Joe Coy doing it, right. and um, and there wasn't anybody. But he, Joe, Joe and I stylistically are different. But um, when I look at you guys, I go, you know, it's kind of like my offspring. <laughs> where you come? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Or, I, I feel like it's you know where you come, kids. It's what where I wanted, you know what I mean? What I wanted Asians to be doing. Right? right, and it's sort of a dream for me to be here and to be with you guys. Wow, Daddy. Yeah, I will say this: you are, you became <laughs> you, something positive. No, you came into this how this Asian Renaissance is happening. You came, you kind of joined, you kind of joined the side. Are you all right? What? You got it's the funny. giggles over here. Why can't you I joined laugh? the. No, you can. You can. I'm not, I'm not stopping you. No, you, you, see, you see what happened? Yeah. So this is what happened. This is what happened. You see this? Yeah. This is what happened. I'm trying to enjoy this. No, you're you're railroading her. Okay. A little bit. What's that mean? Though? You're railroading her. Yeah. And I think that uh, laugh. <laughs> there we go. So just let her have that. That's a really dry laugh. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So uh, <laughs> yeah. No, what I'm saying is. You know, I feel like when this Asian renaissance is happening, I'm yeah. glad a lot of the OGs are thriving as well. For sure. Because I know in the hip hop, a lot of OGs become bitter. Yeah. Mm -hmm. At least in, in that genre. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you feel like there's a like lot that, of that? They don't like that baton I mean, pass, you know? I, I thought you were going to go more of that route at one point. But <laughs> what route? Like kind of like bitter, bitter a little bit He thought you were going to become bitter for some but reason. But you're better. You know, you do a uh, wordplay or something? Or uh, <laughs> no, no. Uh, uh, do you have a piece of paper? And batter. why? What, what are we? What are we doing? Uh, He's gonna, you know, go get me a piece of paper. What are we doing with the piece of paper? I will show you when I get the piece of paper. Okay, okay. I'm okay. sorry. I'm sorry. Um, do you need a pen as well? Yeah, I was gonna use that red felt right okay, there. Okay, sure. You can. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's bad luck in Korean culture to write in. Red. Can I have the red, please? He doesn't. Know. What's better, yellow? Give, give me, yeah, give me yellow, one of them. Yellow. Give me one of them. Okay. No, that's a highlighter. Right? Whatever it is. Okay, okay, okay I'm just gonna draw something. Okay, cool. Okay. Yeah. Triangle. No, it's not a triangle yet. Okay. Mm. Mm. Mm, I get it. What is it? It's like is that you're like getting your better. Chart? It's like you were up, then you were down, mm. and you're about to uh, fly away. <laughs> That's what I thought. No. To home. The two different photos. Uh, oh. Okay. Okay. Mountain and hill. Mountain. So and this upwards. is. Mm -hmm. I've seen this happen. Okay. Okay. Uh, Where somebody rises mm. and they fall. Oh. All right. This is not. I've never wanted this trajectory, mm. ever. Mm. Okay. This is the tra tra the trajectory I want. Steady. Right? Every inclined. year, mm. right? I have to look at the year and go: Am I slowly rising? Am I doing things that I've never done before? Am I improving? You know. And that's always been my. You know, I don't know about even if there was no cultural like you know shift in terms of minority getting their due, right? Right. I was always gonna do a slow and steady thing, right? So you know, it's it's more that than anything else, I think, because I've always since the beginning of me starting comedy yeah. has oh I've always done that. I've never got you know what I mean like all yeah, over yeah. the place. It's always just been a slow rise. It's like when. You know, back in the day, maybe ten years ago, when Ken Jung was getting everything, people would go, "Well, what about you? You know, I mean, you're you're being ignored, or you know, what I mean, it, it'd just be like, let them, let them have it. Yeah, you know, what I mean, because I know exactly what I do. Yeah, you know, what I mean, I know what my brand is, I know what my persona is, I know what I can and cannot do. And you stuck to it, and I just stick to what I know. Yeah, mm. and and just to go forward right mm -hmm. and so that's all i'm feeling right now i feel like you know i've been more busy than i've ever been and i think in my 50s i turned 50 in two weeks wow 50 years old right september 17th september 17th I'll turn, how old are you gonna be younger than you i don't know 
We don't talk about my. What is this? He's costing <laughs> jabs, Steph. This is not a jab. I'm I, I, no, 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 no. It's not a jab. I just, you know, it's so funny because it's so embarrassing to admit that I'm 50. You think I'm proud of it? No, I think I'm on the tail end of whatever my lifespan is. Right? You can't just throw out your younger number. Mm -mm. Okay. <laughs> so your generation, you guys aren't real. Oh, wow. And mm. honest. I think, I think she's you know and vulnerable. I think she, everyone has I'm their issues. We all have our own issues. Vulnerable I don't know what issues. your issues are, but I have. I don't have any. I'm working on with my therapist. I don't have any. Oh, you have a therapist? I do have a therapist. Okay. I have issues. Hold are you money? I'm 35 years old. I mean, dumbfounded. I'm I called you money. <laughs> dumb money. <laughs> just call what are you dumb old money? Jewish man? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, hey, money. Hey, money. Hey, money. Hey, money. <laughs> dumbfounded. How old are you? I'm 35. Oh, you're young, very young. <laughs> Probably the same age bracket then. Mm. How about you, Rick? I'm 36. Young. You're all the same age bracket. Do you think 35, 36 is young in the industry, though? I mean, compared to him. No, I'm just saying. I'm. Whoa. whoa, whoa. No, no, no. I'm, no, no, eyes, no, 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 no. I'm not his saying. His eyes shut. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying. I didn't know you were going to say industry. No, but I'm just saying just... in the industry, do you really believe that's young? Because <laughs> it still doesn't feel young. Like, when I read headlines, I see tons of young people doing a lot of shit. I feel really young. You know, um... I think I'm young. Yeah. I honestly do. I, because I'm on a new show called Sex and the City, and um, <laughs> that he turned down twice. When I'm on the show, I would have felt young I, on I, that show too. I've done four episodes. They offered me more, and uh, <laughs> <laughs> but when I'm there, because you know, you would have been if you would have gotten the show, you your your scenes would have been with Sarah Jessica Parker. That would have been great. It's great. Was so it? doing it with her is great. Mm -hmm the highlight of my life and um <laughs> no but you know and she's older than i am but right. it's like you know i f the reason why i feel young is because i've never been in a situation before right and um it's something new and people view me as a young person mm -hmm. you know yeah. what i mean because i'm new there yeah. i dress kind of the way i dress you know what i mean and i have a vibe about me so it's like i don't really think about my age really you look very young you do look very young yeah Whoa. thank you but you know what? I do have to say one thing about you is that you do talk about how old you are. You talk about your age being old all the time. And I, I think it's because you're maybe in rap, which I think you tend to think is like a Um, word. I think it bugs me a little bit. Yeah, I think because when you're in a transitional period of doing new things or adding new things to your arsenal. Right. And maybe like the landscape of the music part is younger. You mm. do feel a little bit on the older side of things. A little over the hill. You know, yeah. what I mean? it's a mindset, though. I really think that it's a mindset. I think sexually, I'm old. What's that mean? You know exactly what that means. <laughs> Viags? No, no, I don't think Viagra. I should have maybe, but um, <laughs> I could feel my libido going down. Mm. You know what I mean? I'm not like, like you know, back in the day, like I'd be at a club, a comedy club, and I'll see just a bunch of girls coming out of the, club. <laughs> you know what I mean? And you, that was great. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, and just yeah. like giggling, and I'd be like. Yeah, look at that. You know what I mean? Like, look at them. You know, you know what I mean. You'll be like, I'm gonna maybe way. try or yeah, talk yeah, to yeah. Them or... Yeah. Well, well, I'm in a relationship, and I don't. You yeah, know, I was we don't. If that's why. Yeah, yeah. So that's part of it. But at least it would excite if you. you. But even yeah. like back, even if I was in a relationship, I would still look right. You're right. Right. Mm. I don't even look anymore. You don't even turn your head. No, when yeah. I look at wow. somebody's like a young girl coming out, it's uh -huh. not like it's more of an annoyance. Yeah. Than like <laughs> a pleasure. You give huh. them a. Psh. Uh, yeah. No, I just kind of go. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You're annoyed by it a little I'm bit. I'm annoyed by it you because are. it's like there's no sexual thing there. And it's like even if I was single, I wouldn't go for it. You know what I mean? And I, I just still, also it's like in bed I'm more like, you know, before it's like I'm going to do rapid – like I would even say to Kalila, yes. I'm going to do rapid style. And she'd be like, oh, again? You know what I mean? And I'd be like, yeah. And I'd go, ta -ta 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 -ta, you know when I'm making love, you know? Yeah. You know what I mean? Like a rabbit. You know yeah. what I mean? Like a machine. Uh -huh. mm. Just pop, 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 pop. You know what I mean? And, she'd I, like, and she'd be like, oh, that's out of control, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But now it's just like, I'm on the bottom. <laughs> no, I really, I'm, I'm on the bottom. You do all the movement, and right. I'll just kind of daydream or whatever. You know that's what I mean? surprising because you were always such a physical comedian with a lot of energy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so you had that energy in the bedroom as well. I was a machine. Yeah, yeah. And then you lost that. I'm no longer a machine. You're it's no broken. longer a machine. Yeah, I, I don't ever care to get it back. Oh. Yeah. Interesting. I, I, don't, I don't care. I feel like it's God's Whoa. sick joke because a lot of men start losing libido, right? When they hit their 30s. Yeah. But women start 
getting mm-hmm. horny as hell in their 30s. Yeah, uh, she's in her 30s and she's horny as hell. Yeah, because she's biologically, she wants to have like biological mom babies and stuff. Yeah. So everyone's horny. But my shit's broken down. So yeah. I think that's a problem. You know, I'm trying. I'm never going to lose my libido. Guys always you, say you, that. Why do you say that? Oh, you, guys bro, 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 bro. No, 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 Rick. You, you thought that too? At one point? Like you're never going to lose that? Rick. Yeah. Yeah. Just l- l- look at my eyes. I'm little beady eyes, right? <laughs> I <laughs> was a fuck machine. <laughs> Why did In, you make me look, 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 look at my eyes again? Look at my eyes again, dude. Look at my eyes and don't right, smile. Yeah, right. And don't smile, right? If you smile, I'll say it again. Okay. All right? Look at me. You're smiling. <laughs> no, okay. You're smiling. No, okay, All right. Let's go. All right, right? I. Mm-hmm. Was, oh, uh, <laughs> yo, stop! <laughs> uh, no. why, 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 okay, okay, right. okay, I got it. Right, right. Don't be young. You don't know how to do. You don't know how to do it. I got it. You don't know. Yeah, you don't even know how. You do it too. You yeah, do it. Look, look, just look I, it's at not him. a test for him. Yeah, yeah, it's a test for you. Okay. I was a. <laughs> no, I can't do it. Right, I can't fine, do it. Your snarl. So your sex you chart is the opposite yeah. of your career. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It went off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck machine and just. Well, do you think the more sex you have, the it's like you run out of like ammunition as you get older. Like the more sex you had, a more crazy sex life you had. Like you get to forty, fifty, and you're like, eh. It's like you're bored of it, or like you just kind of get used to. Well, I was an incel. <laughs> At what age? Okay. When I was a young man, I was an incel. I was uh-huh. unfuckable. And I was, I had a lot of, you know what I mean? A sexual energy and, um, girls just didn't like me. Right. And I was in a lot of unrequited love situations mm-hmm. where I really loved somebody and yeah. they didn't even know I was too shy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like right? the friend that secretly in love. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, I remember like, um, there was this girl named Anna and I used to wait, wait tables with her at a restaurant called the Brockton Villa It's still there. <laughs> and I was a bus boy and she was a waitress and I remember having the tray yeah walking by her when she's taking an order and smelling her hair <gasps> i go i'd smell it right and i remember hanging out with her every day mm-hmm. for like e- years even when she had boyfriends mm-hmm. right and just praying to god you know please you know and then she got engaged <laughs> to this guy david and it broke my heart Aww. and um i remember wanting to kill myself Wow. This is, I was 21 or 22. It's like, how do I do it? Do I slice this way? I mean, I was like in love with this girl, right? But you didn't tell her ever. Never. <gasps> That's how crazy. So that was an incel. Mm, right. So when I was 23, I started in comedy. And then one day I was on stage and there was this blonde girl with big titties in the front row. Can I say that? Yeah, yeah, yeah it's fine. Big breasts in the front row. Yeah. <laughs> and, you look at me. Yeah. And she, what do you mean? You said big breasts and then looked at me. No, I, I know. I was just looking around the room trying to bond with everybody in the room. <laughs> I, I'll do it again. Big breasts. <laughs> 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 and I remember this is before cell phones. Yeah, yeah. So um, I, was, I would go up at the comedy store. And this is in 1995. And I would I'd have a comedy store t-shirt on. But if you were the doorman, you could do five minutes before the headliners. On the weekends, that's how I met all the old timers, mm-hmm. you know, like right. Dice and all these kind of guys, right? And um, I was after the show was over, I would have to sweep, mop. So I had a mop, and I was mopping the floors in the back. And um, the the manager goes, "Lee, come over here." <laughs> so I, I go, oh, "Yeah, yeah, Fred, you know, Mr. Burns." And he goes, "You have a phone call." And I picked up the phone, and she goes, "Hi." I was sitting in the front row. I had the big titties. And oh. I go, oh, did you enjoy the show? Like a fucking idiot. <laughs> I go, like, do you want your money back? I don't, I don't yeah, know what right, you wanted. Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. She goes, no. You want to hang out? Wow. wow. Right? And I go, she was white too. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> I felt like I won the lottery. <laughs> you have to imagine, like, I had no girls right. before this. Right. right. This was a huge jump. 20, yeah, I was 23. Like, Not huge. It was sell to blonde breasts. Everything. Yeah, 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 right? yeah. Zero to one. Next thing I know, I was in her mom's closet in Oceanside, California. And I, and I was 
doing 69 with her. Wow. In the closet? In the closet. Her mom, her mom was out. I don't know why we knew how to use her bed. <laughs> we just ended up in her closet. Yeah, right, right. right? And there was all these shoes around, I remember. And I remember tears. Oh, my God. Coming down, right? And, and her ass right here. Mm. You know what I mean? Uh, 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 you know I mean, I'm doing the <laughs> thing, like, right? She's like, right? are I'm you spreading. crying? Yeah. I've never even been in this situation. Like, uh, for some reason, I just wanted to see what was inside. Right. <laughs> you know how sometimes you do open up the package a little bit? No. And you go, oh, there's like three hairs or whatever it might be, right? Uh -huh. Oh, that's, that's, a white, that's a white surprise. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a white yeah. surprise, right? right? And I remember, you know what I mean? She could have shit in my eyes. Mm. I would have kept going. You yeah. know what I mean? That's how, like, and I remember going, I said, thank you, Jesus. <gasps> Amen. But it, into but the hole. Into the hole. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, what I mean? as, as if that was his eye. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> right? Like his eye, like, little Jesus eye was sticking Jesus. out of the hole. <laughs> like, is this the holy? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And I go, oh my god. Thank you, Jesus. Crying, right? Yeah. So I remember that. So and so then after that, I it was I, you know I used to open for in the '90s, Pauly Shore and Mencia at the time. You know when they were young, and I um, you know after shows you would hook up mm -hmm. and. All across the country was amazing, right? But then what happens is then I got a little bit of fame and I was batting out of my league. And then you just – then you get deep in, you know what mm. I mean? You're drowning in it at times, yeah, you know? Yeah. And then you end up 50 and it's like behind you and <laughs> you did it. Right. And it's like that it doesn't fix you or the doesn't – Yeah, it's yeah. Not, but it's not supposed to fix – don't you feel like it's not supposed to fix you? It feels like you lived enough of that – you got it out of your You're system. Exhausted. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's not supposed to do anything. It's just, it's kind of like just a. I'd rather, like, when I wake up in the morning, Kalila's there, right? And she'll always, she'll always rub my arm, you know? So it's like, we wake up and she'll rub my arm and she'll just get good morning, right? And I rub her arm back. Yeah. Right? And though, what's so funny? Who's giggling Are in you the laughing? studio right now? All right. It was me, but I kept, was, my, I kept yeah, my yeah. face straight because you guys and were it, annoyed. And you know her smells, mm. oh. and she has a variety of smells in the morning, mm. right? But like knowing them, knowing the smells, right? And going, feeling safe oh. and comforted, right, is far better than nutting mm. inside a hole. That's all I want to say. Really? Yeah. That arm touch. It's a, it's a safety because it's like, I know that if I got COVID. Right. What's so funny? No, no, no. I'm sorry. I just, I can't control that yeah, initial yeah, giggle. Yeah, I yeah. apologize for that. I <laughs> was a. Could <laughs> <laughs> that be that? <laughs> can't do okay. it. Right? It's a fuck yeah. machine. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. you know, it's, you know, the intimacy and knowing that if I got COVID, because we talked about it because, you know, I'm all getting older. And she would take care of me, she said. She goes, I would check on you. We, You would survive. I would do everything. You know, and those, that idea, you know what I mean, of when I get old, right, and somebody checking on me to see if I'm okay and to take care of me and yeah. vice versa, right, yeah. is a, a more comforting feeling than, like, Jesus' eye in somebody's asshole. I feel that. I feel that. <laughs> Sometimes I feel like... I think, what do you think I, I thought I was a fuck machine, but I'm <laughs> like, do we just think we were fuck machines or were we not that much of a fuck machine? No, women would tell me I was. They, they told you you were While a fuck machine. While doing it, you're like, wow, you're a fuck machine. They right? would say yeah. And I go, that's what I am. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So, right. yeah, I, so, I was told many times. Okay. All right. And I have, uh, can I say something? Not about, that I doubted you. Yeah. <laughs> can I talk about my penis real quick, right? I mean, you I'd always... like to hear. Okay. My penis is a deceiver. Right? Okay. And he works in the shadows. Huh. My penis. My penis. Like a ninja? Exactly. Like a vampire. Exactly. Sneaky chopsticks, baby. Right. Sneaky chopsticks. <laughs> exactly. That, that's what oh, they sneaky, sneaky chopsticks, vampire. What'd you say? Ninja. Like a ninja. It's all those things. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. When women first see it, mm -hmm. they go, aww. Which is not a comforting yeah. Yeah. sound, right? Yeah, yeah. But when they see my little baby, right? grow right like bruce banner and they Hulk. always <laughs> there's always a a lean back like a startle oh. of like oh, like a flinch what's right. gonna happen you know what i mean it's right. like one of those things right and i have to say it's bigger than yours 
<laughs> <laughs> Why? How did you That's curve it? How did yeah, you yeah. look at them the whole time? I just time? believe. I believe. I, he has a huge head. It, it doesn't matter. What the fuck? My <laughs> shit right here. My I'm shit. I'm not <laughs> I'm saying. The, the... <laughs> my God. Right. Wow. No, all the flesh and all the muscles and all yeah, the blood yeah. goes to his head yeah. and his dick. I know. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. I like the yeah, logic yeah, yeah, there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Is that what it is? Yeah, yeah. All right. Let's let's take a couple of calls real quick. Let's okay. get a couple of few calls. That we're going to end the talking portion <laughs> with that right there. <laughs> Yo, let it breathe for two more minutes yeah. real nah, quick. Nah, nah. Let's take some calls. You guys can hit us up on the Discord. We got wow. Bobby Lee in the studio. And we really covered a lot of parts. I I to an emotional roller coaster. God damn, that I don't was know what stupid. happened right now. It was a good. I, I was kind of uncomfortable. We went, at one why? Point. Why? Mad, happy, laughter. Um, this part was weird too. <laughs> um, yeah, 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 there's yeah. A lot of elements. I had fun. I have to say, that was great. Did you feel okay? <laughs> what do you? Why don't you ask initially? me to do it more often? I would it hurts my feelings. You. I would love to have you on here, but you're busy. You I seem see you very doing... busy. There are times I am, but times you're busy I can't taking do it. my parts. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. One part. We're gonna oh, do no, something. You know that We're other... gonna do something together. No, there was another part too. Where the that questions you took a movie back in the day too. Oh no, they're Remember actually that? gonna call in here, and then we get. To All talk right, let's to take them. a call from Savvy Boy. Let's go, Savvy Boy. You're in there on the air. You're in the air, baby. Savvy Boy. Hello. Hello, hello. Yes. What's up, up, man? Where are you calling from? Uh, Ontario, California. What's hello. good, bro? Not much. I always wanted to call into uh, unhelpful advice. <laughs> Wow, we got we got helpful advice too. Nice. All right, what's you your guess, question? You guys stole that too. See, huh? I, know, <laughs> I, knew, I knew that was coming right now. That, that's, <laughs> thief. that's not fucking thief. We're changing the know. colors of the walls tomorrow. All right. I know you guys uh talking about age and stuff. I'm gonna be 30 this year. Just uh, I don't know. I kind of feel like I don't know. Do you guys have any advice to just keep going like on my aspirations? Like, do you feel like you hit a wall or something? What do you do? Kinda, yeah. I mean, I don't know. I feel like I do too much. Like I do Twitch, I'll do YouTube shit, and then I do, uh, you know, make designs and clothes and all kinds of crap. But you feel like you do too much. Like you're a master. Of, what is that shit? Renaissance. Jack like, of all trades, master, master of none. none. I don't think yeah. that shit. Do you, do you know that quote has a second part to it? Talk to me. Do you know that? No, I didn't. Part. That's not the. F I could look it up because I forgot. <laughs> Alex, could you look? Yo, up? you said that. I'm no, no, because that blessings. quote continues on for another yeah. two lines that really completes it. So people have this mentality like the quote is, "You're a jack of all trades, master of none." But there is a um, a full quote to that. No, not. We the... need to figure out what this quote is. Yeah, let's figure it out real quick. Actually, too, I just I I called in a long time ago when you were doing dumb roll. And I was just like really like starstruck and, and I was like shy. I'm still kind of shy right now, actually. But uh, I love you guys. I, I watch you guys every time you come on. Thank you guys for keeping me entertained and, you know, helping me get through the quarantine and all that shit. Yeah. Bobby Lee, I watch all everything that you're associated with. I really love you, man. Thank you, my friend. And I have I to say submitted a video to go to your 50th birthday, but I guess that wasn't good enough. No, that, no, no. Let me say something. Because of the Delta variant, we canceled it. Mm. Oh. Uh, yeah, so it's like now we're gonna do a. Um, we haven't done it yet, but um, on my birthday, you're gonna be able. We're gonna pick some people to zoom us, so we can talk to them like through Zoom. Oh, oh shit. like this? Uh, like kind of. <laughs> 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 this isn't Zoom. Um, oh. So oh, okay, it's, right. it's a different thing, okay, you know what I mean? Okay, but right. you think you're the first one to do callers? Oh, you right. fucking idiot! <laughs> <laughs> this fucking guy. All right, oh, let's go. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Jesus. What's the second Christ. part of the quote? Dumb. I've yeah. never even heard the first part. Okay. I don't get any of it. Jack of all trades, master of none, though oftentimes better than master of one. Mm. Hey. Yeah. I like that. But here's my advice to you. I knew a guy once who was an actor, musician. He designed clothing. He wanted to do a skate store, skateboarding store. He had yeah. uh, so many dreams. And I focused on one thing, right. which is comedy. And yeah. just my advice to you is to focus your love into one thing. Do you think so? Yeah. Because this generation is not about that for sure. It's hard. It's hard to stay focused on one thing. Because everyone get, loves to try everything. I, why not yeah. try a bunch of things you want to try? This is exhausting life. though. It's the fatigue. I mean, I write music, right? In fact, the Tiger Belly song, I wrote that, sang that, yeah. right? I wrote the, um, my girlfriend has a podcast called Trash Tuesdays. Mm -hmm. I wrote the music for that. Yeah. Right, so I do that on the side, gotcha. but it's like my energy is not onto that, right? right? 
all my energy is into stand up and podcasting right now. You're saying put the energy of the thing you love to do. Into... All my work goes into and focus goes into comedy mm. and podcasting. Mm. Maybe some acting, but it's like, um, but the reason why I'm at the point where I can act in things is because I put in the work with that with initial thing, thing. Yeah. right? And they're looking for that in the other things. The yeah, podcast, like when I, you know, acting. I did stand up in '95, and that was my full sole focus. Mad TV and all that other stuff is just a byproduct of me trying this one thing, right? Right. It wasn't like I wanted to be on a sketch show. It's just the opportunity came along, right. where I'm like, oh, I'll audition for it, you know, and yeah. I got it. So it's like, you know, but my attention wasn't on on that. It's just when I focus on one thing, other doors open. And then you go through those doors, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I agree with Bobby. I was going to say I'm a that. little bit half and half on that. But Asabi boy, I hope that helped, bro. It does. And thank you. It's actually a real pleasure talking to all you guys. With thank you. Bye. Nice. Okay, we boy. got Carvelos. What's up? Carvelos. Hey, yo. What's up? Hi. What's up, bro? What's on your so, mind? So before I ask my question, right? I need a minority report. So we have this segment on our show, Bobby, um, called Minority Report, where we guess the ethnicity of the caller just by what they sound like. Would you like to play this? Yeah, I'd love to. Okay. okay. Say a sentence real quick. Um, give them a sentence to say. Okay. Um, I had to call in today to get my minor minority report from Bobby Lee. Uh, all right. I had to call in today to get my minority report. Okay, he's Hispanic. I was gonna say the same thing. You're gonna say Latino. 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 Say, um, Is that your final no, guess? No, Filipino or some Southeast Asian. Okay, I'm gonna say Guatemalan. That's the same thing as. Yeah, I know, but I'm yeah. being more specific. <laughs> You'll okay. get no kudo points for that. Okay. All right. What are you? What is it? Hispanic, my boy. Salvadorian. Woo! And what? Salvadorian. Yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Salvadorian. Let's right. go. I mean. I try to guess more yeah. specific. Yeah, right, but you, you didn't get it right. Yeah. I do. Well, yeah, yeah I guess so. I just fell back. Yeah, I yeah, guess yeah. I took a risk. I yeah, took yeah. a risk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 All right. Well, uh, what's your question? All right. So, so I'm a musician, right? And the times I get more creative are like when I'm showering or when I'm shitting. So I'm wondering when do you guys get more creative? Well, not when I'm shitting. Driving? Creative? Driving with long... I think at night, probably, or something. Yeah. yeah. Night yeah. drives for me. But no, nope. like, specific place or something? Yeah, in the bed, when my girlfriend's already asleep and I'm about to wind down, a lot of times my ideas come there where I kind of think about certain things, like bits and stuff. Right. Do you write it down? No. So sometimes wow. you'll forget about them? No, no, I don't forget about them. You I just won't. No, I just know... Like, I have a show tonight... And I have some ideas that I want to try. Oh, oh and you That's just storm, and you just put them in your head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Okay. All right. All right. Well, there's your answer. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Carvelos. All, right. All right, we got pizza six oh two slut. Hey, maybe we should get tickets. Let's go to Bobby's show tonight. No. Why? I don't want you to come. No, come on. Bro. What the That's fuck, such a dude? Young yeah, thing I don't want you to, to come. That's crazy. I gotta eat though, man. How long is this? Okay, let's we're gonna wrap. Are we gonna eat let's together? Just, let's, yeah, let's let's wrap. Are we gonna eat together? Yeah, let's eat together. Yeah, let's but just it's wrap gotta up. be now. Though. That's what I'm saying. We're gonna we're gonna wrap it okay. up now. We'll just take one more question. And we'll wrap it up. Okay. okay. Pizza six oh two slut. What's up? <laughs> God, Can what you even use it? I'm surprised. What's up? Go to the next one. Just we're gonna take one more call. So Eighty one Zaki. Eight one Zaki. Eight one Zaki was good. Yo, what's good, guys? What's Where you coming from? Uh, before I say, can I play a minority report? Okay, I'm going to say white. Okay. <laughs> how about you? Um, <laughs> I, I want you to repeat this sentence. Go. I am right. a fuck machine. <laughs> I am a fuck machine. He sounds Asian low-key to me. Chinese. No, he's white. You think he's white? Yeah. Chinese. Taiwanese or Chinese? What do you think? Uh, ch uh, Chinese. I'm going to say I Jap feel like I, uh, Japanese. I feel like I should just disclose that I'm half. I'm half and half. Japanese I'm, and I'm, white. Okay. Chinese and white. Black and Asian. Mexican and white. What are you? I'm Japanese and Italian. Wow. Yeah. What's I your question, Eddie okay. Wanzaki? It's because it's a Zaki, too. The Zaki. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's your question, bro? We got to wrap it up. We're going to eat. Uh, no question. I just want to give you guys your flowers. You guys are a big inspiration to everybody. Straight up. 
Thank you. That's Yo, really thank kind, you so much, man. Thank you. I love you. Thank you, man. All right. That. Well, that's going to be it. Did we do enough time? Yeah. yeah. We're going to oh, yeah, wrap yeah. it up. Thank you, Bobby Lee, uh, for calling and checking up on me. And actually, I didn't even reach out to Bobby. Bobby reached out to me. Wow. wow. That's why I'm going to buy you dinner. What no. Flex, I'm going to buy. We're going to go now, though. <laughs> We're going. Let's, Let's go. go. Let's go. All right. All right. <laughs> tune in next week for another episode of Fun With Dumb. Peace, Peace man.